Hey there, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do today is we're going to do a simple lesson on percent discounts. So this problem reads that Eleanor purchased a pair of shoes. The retail price of the shoes was $48. Eleanor had a coupon for 25% off. How much will Eleanor pay for the shoes after the discount? Now, 25% is a percentage that I like to consider a simple percentage because if we were to express 25% as a fraction, that would be 25 out of 100. Remember, percentages are simply rates that are out of 100. So the percent symbol right here signifies out of 100. Now, the reason I say that 25% is a simple percentage is because 25, which is the part, fits into its whole of 100 exactly four times. So what we can do is we can take the total amount of the shoes, which is $48, and figure out what fits into it exactly four times. So we can just take 48 and divide that by four, which would give us 12. And if you were to simplify 25 out of 100 and 12 out of 48, you would see that they are both equal to one fourth or one quarter. So we already figured out that we would get a $12 discount on the shoes, but we still have to take our total of $48 and subtract from it $12. Because remember, we get 25% off the retail price. So what is remaining is what we have to pay, which would be $36 in total. Now, another way that we can approach this problem is by taking our total of $48 and multiplying it by 25% written as a decimal, which would be 25 written in the hundreds place. So let's go ahead and multiply. 5 times 48, 5 times 8 is 40, we carry the 4, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 more is 24, and then we have to multiply 2 by 48, which is 96, and then we add all of our digits together. This column right here is 0, this column right here is 10, we carry our 1, and the last column is a total of 12. And don't forget, if you have a decimal in the problem, you have to put one in the proper position in your answer. So by multiplying 25 hundredths by 48, we can see that the discount would be $12, but we still have to subtract that discount from 48. Now, another way that we can think about this problem is like this. Well, we know that the total price would be 100% of the price. And if we get 25% off of the original price, that means we have 75% remaining to pay. So another strategy is to take the total price, which is $48, and multiplying it by 75 hundredths, or 75% written as a decimal. So let's go ahead and multiply those two values together. 5 times 48 is 240. And we put a 0 in this position. And then we do 7 times 8, which is 56. We carry our 5. We multiply 4 and 7, which is 28, plus 5 is 33. And then we add up all of our columns to see what our total is. This is a 0. 4 and 6 is 10. This column here is a total of 6. And the last column is 3. And our decimal point would go in this position. So by multiplying 48 by 75% written as a decimal, that will give us what price Eleanor will have to pay for the shoes after a 25% discount is applied to the price. Now, another way we could have solved this problem is by understanding that 25% means one-fourth. So we could have taken one-fourth and have multiplied it by the original price of 48. But we would have to write 48 as a fraction by placing a 1 as its denominator. So the product of the numerators is equal to 48, and the product of the denominators is a product of 4. And 48 divided by 4 equals 12. So that is another way to figure out what 25% of 48 is. Also, if you were to recognize that a 25% discount is just paying 75% of the total price, we could have multiplied 3 quarters by 48 to see how much we would have to pay. 
So if we did 3 fours times 48, we could take 48 over 4 and cancel those out. Basically, you can just do 48 divided by 4, which is 12. So we can cross these out and write 12 over 1, which leaves us with the two numerators, 3 and 12. And 3 times 12 is 36, which is the price Eleanor will have to pay after applying her 25% coupon.